Well, joining us now is Ari Fleischer, who's an uh, unpaid occasional communications advisor of the Romney campaign, also Democratic strategist, Obama 2012 pollster Cornell Belcher. Um, Ari, the, government, the governor said last night that the administration's first response to the death of an American had been to apologize. Now, regardless of what someone may think of Governor Romney's statement, uh, isn't it clear from the timeline that, that the heart of his attack was not accurate? That statement from the embassy was put out before the assault on it and before the assault on the consul in Benghazi, and is a tweet by an embassy worker really administration, a statement by the Obama administration? Anderson, I thought you did a good job walking people through the timeline. And I'm glad to see that you put the piece up at the end where the administration, the officials in Egypt, which are our State Department, part of the Obama administration, reiterated support for that initial foolish, misguided statement after the attack took place. What I would have done if I was advising Mitt Romney was I would have made sure there was a clear reference to that we stand, that the administration stood by our Egyptian embassy's earlier statement. I think if they had done that, they'd have been on sol more solid ground. But I, I think Mitt Romney was making a broader, bigger point about but, the Obama administration but wait, but, but, wait, policies. Sorry, but was it the administration stand? Because the administration basically retracted uh, the, the statement. That was the statement from the administration. It was the sure. embassy which reiterated the statement and said, and we also criticized the breach of the well, embassy. It's a, it's a fine distinction, but I don't think you can separate an embassy from the administration. The embassy is a tool, arm of the administration. I say that in the benevolent sense of a tool. That is what administrations do. They have embassies that represent the administration. But and some embassy enough, worker but, but who's worried about getting attacked, is that really fair? If it's good enough for the administration to disown the statement, it's good enough for Mitt Romney to also criticize the statement. It shouldn't be only one party gets to criticize the statement. They both should. That was a terrible statement. It represented American weakness, a retreat on American values. And the bigger point here is that when American officials make apologies to the Muslim world so we don't offend Muslim feelings, by backtracking on American values, it shows weakness and it invites more trouble. It doesn't avoid trouble. Cornell, the, the Romney campaign says, look, the, the embassy was representing Amer administration policy. They made the statement more than once, including their tweets. And if the administration didn't agree with them, they took way too long to say so. And that, that the, they meant the White House was sending mixed signals. Look, first, I, I think sort of we have to send our hearts and sympathy out to the brave Americans who died fighting to spread democracy. Uh, and that is something that shouldn't that should transcend politics. Here it didn't transcend politics, and, and and quite frankly, it's a little bothersome that you know we're on national television talking about the partisan or the political aspect of this when we had Americans dying uh, for spreading trying to spread democracy for our, for our country. Look, it, it, Mitt Romney showed incredibly poor judgment uh, at a time when when you know when you should have been getting larger, getting bigger, uh, be, showing leadership. You know, you, you use this for a, 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 a craven, partisan, myopic, misleading statement uh, that, you know, that was just about partisanship. And it, it is out of the pale. I mean, and, and it's really telling that, that you don't see a lot of Republicans, you know, running to Mitt Romney, uh, you know, defense on this. It, you know, uh, McCain's silence on this is, 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 is startling. And even the speaker's silence in, in this area is, is startling is because it's something that should not be done. When Americans are dying for our country, to spread freedom and democracy, we should not have partisan, uh, partisan figures making partisan statements to try to gain political gain. His poor judgment disqualifies him to be president of the United States. It, it, given that at that point last night at 10:25, whenever it was, full details weren't known. There, we didn't know if the the threat with the attack was still going on. We knew one uh, person was dead. We didn't know if they were American citizen, who they were. We didn't know it was the ambassador. We didn't know the other people had died as well. Should he have just waited? I mean, is it inappropriate? in a, the heat of a political campaign to weigh in when, when American lives are in the balance? Well, that's a great question, but let me remind people about what John Kerry said about George Bush in 2004 and certainly what Barack Obama said about John McCain and George Bush in 2008. Cornell has an interesting new standard that in 2012, the Republican candidate should not weigh in at a time when there are deaths, talking about the, interesting, the, the important differences in foreign policy approaches. Yet certainly that is exactly what John Kerry did regularly to George Bush, as was his right, why people were dying in Iraq and Afghanistan, as it was Barack Obama's right. But I don't remember people criticizing either John Kerry or Barack Obama for criticizing the Bush and or McCain foreign policy. In but, fact, in July 2008, nine servicemen were killed in one day in Afghanistan. On that very day, Barack Obama weighed in to criticize George Bush and John McCain's foreign policy. And I don't remember any of this media double standard saying to Senator Obama, 
isn't it inappropriate for you to criticize the foreign policy of the person you're running against? It, on the is day it the when same thing? Died? Is it it's the, a double standard, Anderson? Is it the same thing though? Because I mean, that, that's an ongoing war where you know, if you say you can't comment anything about an ongoing war, it goes on for years at a time, uh, and you can't make any statements. This is a thing where hours matter, and we don't know if if people are alive or dead. We don't know if the attack is still going Anderson, on. Anderson, this has been a 20-year war against and, Muslim and, terrorists who attack our country. And, we were Anderson, struck four times in the Clinton administration once in the Bush administration and now once in the Obama administration. This is an ongoing war too. Okay. Debates about foreign policy are an absolute vital part of our democracy. And I don't know why the media is rushing to criticize Barack, I mean, to criticize Mitt Romney for criticizing a foreign policy when they did not do that to Barack Obama, Kerry, when they exercised their it, it, right to criticize Republican foreign policy. Right two, two quick things. One is, it's apples and oranges. You know, that's, that's just not a fair comparison. And, and a fairer comparison would be what, what Democrats did directly after 9-11. And, you know, on, on the 12th, you had statements by people like Hillary Clinton, who at that time was then Senator Clinton, and, and, and seen as a very partisan figure, who said, we stand united behind the president. That's a leadership. That's, that's what leaders are supposed to do. The other part of this, which is, which is now disturbing, is it's okay to sort of say that mistakes were made. You know, as, as people who work in this industry, you know, we sort of have a responsibility to be caretakers of this industry. And when we just follow, you know, our partisan leaders down whatever partisan dark rabbit hole they, they tend to go to, you know, we get the sort of politics that we have now, and I think that's shameful. Well, I want to get in time. Uh, we have an obituary for the ambassador, and I want to get to, get to that. So um, I'm going to end the discussion here. Right, guys, I appreciate your perspectives. Cornell, Ari, thank you very much. Thank